are oil producers lending a hand to Russia? Well, that's the accusation from Washington after the Saudi-led oil cartel OPEC Plus decided to slash oil production by 2 million barrels a day. Not helping matters, at least from the U.S. perspective, was a meeting Tuesday between Russian President Vladimir Putin and President of the United Arab Emirates, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan. The White House has said that in response to the OPEC cuts, which it says will boost Russian oil revenues, it is reevaluating its relationship with Saudi Arabia. Riyadh says the decision to cut production is based on market forces. All right, for more on this, let's go to Mikhail Krutikin. He's an energy analyst, and he joins us from Oslo. Uh, Mikhail, we've talked a lot about the, the oil markets in recent weeks. Is this move, does it help Russia? Well, I do not think it helps Russia because Russia is going to lose uh, a lot of its production and exports in December when the embargo on the Russian oil supply comes into force in the United States in the uh, European Union. And anticipating that development, the uh, uh, such countries as Saudi Arabia, which is the leader of OPEC and OPEC Plus, decided to decrease production in advance to have a bigger leverage over the market forces. If they have enough spare capacity to regulate uh, the prices on the market, they might be uh, successful in this. Uh, right now, the market does not experience any shortages of oil. In fact, the supply is larger than the demand, uh, about 1 million uh, barrels per day. And the decrease, I don't think it plays a very big role immediately. It will, place, uh, it will play a big role uh, starting uh, in December. In addition, I think it is also, there is also a political issue. Because uh, the uh, Saudi Arabia and its uh, well companions in uh, uh, OPEC cannot find uh, well common language with the current uh, mm -hmm. American administration. Uh, they are unhappy about the attitude of the Biden administration vis-a-vis -vis Iran and inability of uh, Washington DC to establish good relations uh, with the Arabic countries in the Persian Gulf. And so I don't think they are going to appease the current administration of the United States mm. by uh, increasing oil production. We've heard, Mikhail, just that, that uh, Saudi Arabia has said that it, it feels threatened by this oil price cap. Do you believe then that when they took this move and pointed to basically the markets, um, the way the markets are moving right now, you said there's oversupply right now, does it make sense when they say, look, we're doing this because of what we're seeing on the market? Or do you believe this is something that's related more to uh, the U.S. administration? Yes, I think the uh, largest role is played by the market considerations in the behavior of OPEC+. Plus. Uh, they want, uh, now they do not have a lot of spare capacity to increase if they need uh, for political or commercial considerations, but they want to increase this leverage. After the uh, 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 cut of production of about 2 million barrels per day, the leverage of the market, I mean the spare capacity uh, available for an increase, would be about, uh, well, four and a half or five million barrels per day. And this is quite enough to influence the market in the future mm. if mm. need arises. Now, the U.S. has tried to release more crude from its strategic petroleum reserve in recent months. To what extent can it affect market prices um, in, in counteraction to what Saudi Arabia and OPEC are doing? Briefly, if you can. I don't think, no, I do not think this is a very important uh, measure. Uh, it is not a market measure. It is going to end very soon. And, uh, well, in a couple of weeks, uh, the United States will have to re uh, refill the strategic uh, storage facilities. And uh, I think the officials of the Saudi Arabia well, are quite right when they point out that it is the American administration which is not increasing, which is not mm. making enough to increase right. oil production in the United States. And we'll have to leave it there. Energy analyst Mikhail Krutikin, thank you so much.